Hi guys, it's Dream the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 218 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, as in your time, let's just dive right in. So they give you that mean is 10, and they give you that standard deviation is equal to, I mean, the variance is 4, which means the standard deviation is 2, right? Because it's the square root of variance. Anyways, now they're asking, find a 12th percentile of the working lifetime e in years. So if this is our normal distribution, they're saying 12th percentile, which means in before it, there's 12% in here. Some x less than this number, let's say like the 12th percentile, x 12th, is equal to 12%. So we can normalize it first. So x minus 10, I mean x minus mean over standard deviation is less than the 12th percentile minus the mean over standard deviation, where this is the value that we're trying to find. Whatever this 12th percentile value is, is equal to 0.12. So we have to pull up our z table. So 0.12 is our percentage, but because we have the positive side, we have to do 1 minus 0.12 to sign, find a z value that corresponds to 0.88. So z value that corresponds to 0.88 is like 1.17. So when z is less than this value minus mean, which is 10, over standard deviation, which is 2, this is equal to 1.17. 1, 1 but the thing is, remember, the 88% is this much. And they're saying that z value that corresponds there is 1.17. So if we're looking for just 12%, this part, it's safe to assume that the negative 1.17 will get you that result. So now we already have everything we need. So now we have x 12th minus 10 over 2 is equal to 1.17. So we can just solve for 12 with basic algebra, 1.17 times 2 plus 10. Oh, but again, remember this is negative, negative, negative. <laughs> so that's negative 1.17 times 2 plus 10, which is equal to 7.66, which is your answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!